they said to me, they were like, maybe you're going to be the next generation Bobby Brown. And I was like, don't be crazy. I was like, that's insane. What do you say? How Huda Katan made her billions. Welcome to Billionaire Believers, the number one place to inspire you to follow your dreams. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at exactly how Huda Katan, CEO of Huda Beauty, turned a beauty blog into a billion dollar empire. Be sure to like and subscribe to Billionaire Believers for more luxury content and let us know in the comments what you think of this video. With some lashes and determination to stick to her vision, Huda built an empire in just a few years. Born and raised in Tennessee by Iraqi parents, her first job was actually at a Dunkin' Donuts. Huda Katan majored in business at the University of Michigan Dearborn. Upon completion, she moved to Dubai to work in a finance job for a consulting firm. She settled there with her husband and gave birth to her daughter. Over time, she was feeling more and more like she was in the wrong job, often being told to wear less makeup and tone down her look. Eventually, her boss fired her because even he knew she wasn't meant to be there. Unsatisfied, she took a leap of faith and took a makeup course to become a makeup artist. She very quickly trained in Los Angeles, but struggled to get clients back in Dubai. In 2007, she started a beauty blog filming how-to videos, and very quickly, girls across the world started watching her videos and following her tutorials. Her videos consist of her putting crazy things on her face and trying procedures for herself and reviewing them for her followers. I did not want to do it. <laughs> we, you know, we had a blog. I wasn't making any money out of it. She began to grow her own fan base, and as her fame grew, she noticed that the one thing she struggled to find a good product for was false eyelashes, and so she started to make her own. I had one person who offered me $10,000 to take 30% of the business, um, which is crazy. Katan borrowed $6,000 from her sister, Aliyah, and spent another $10,000 from her savings for the packaging. In 2013, Katan launched her own line of synthetic and full mink lashes, made in Indonesia. They sold out the first day, and one new fan happened to be Kim Kardashian. Retail sales hit 1.5 million that first year and jumped to 10 million the next. I think when you're starting out, you don't really know exactly what you're getting into. She soon started creating and manufacturing new product lines to capitalize on during this time as everything was beginning to blow up. Her blog is now the most viewed blog on the internet and on Instagram. During their journey to riches, they had quite the rocky start. The business struggled for the first few years and Huda was thrown in the deep end since she'd never had any prior experience in what she was doing. Just like any other success story, they pulled through and are now on their way to billions. One of the biggest issues they had was after spending $1 million on a batch of concealers, she realized that they weren't high enough standards to sell. Well, it wasn't the best it could be. I put it on and I turned orange. And so she decided that her brand was worth more than $1 million and scrapped it. So we ended up scrapping the project, which cost us $1.5 million. Thanks to that, her reputation to this day is impeccable, and she hopes to compete with the likes of L'Oreal and Estee Lauder. When it comes to content and products, Huda's whole brand lives by the value of being innovative and bringing something unseen to the table of the highest quality possible. This includes staff too. Huda employs only the best. We hire really amazing, kind, genius, reasonable people. And I feel like because of that, we use intuition, but there's also data there too. Said Huda in an interview with Business Insider. Huda Beauty employs just under 200 people on her team, so they're relatively small for the scale of the global brand. In order to really compete in the beauty industry, Huda felt that they needed the extra push to catapult the brand into billions. And in 2017, Huda Beauty got their first investor, Institutional Capital TSG. Huda is now number 37 on the Forbes Richest Women list, and that's a big deal. She is definitely a force to be reckoned with and we're inspired by her success. We hope you can be too. We hope our video has encouraged you to put yourself first and go after whatever it is that you want, no matter how much of a faraway dream it may seem. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and tap the share button to inspire someone else as it really helps us to reach more people. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video. Did I get more sick? <coughs> buy this one did i get more like my voice sounds different like i feel like i'm way more sick it's coronavirus kids corona season Jeez. stay safe have some orange juice